Hello everyone, and thanks for joining us today at Snow Globe Rescue. Tony and Allie here. Hello. And today we have a repair video for you. This uh, repair video is actually a subscriber request. It was requested by two subscribers. Our subscribers, Vicky Vakina and Jackie Carson. Uh, both saw this uh, snow globe in episode 145 and they asked us if we'd do a, a video on it. So sure, here it is. Uh, now, uh, as we've mentioned in the past, uh, this is primarily Allie's collection, you know, and Allie has a lot of favorites, uh, which is basically most of most of the snow globes in the collection. Uh, but I do have some that I like that I think are, you know, maybe my favorites. And this is one of them. And uh, it's it is a grand piano. Now, we had to do a little research on this one. Uh, this is a grand piano uh, from it's made by the uh, San Francisco Music Box Company. Mm -hmm. OK, and we didn't know that because we'll show you at the bottom here in a second. But it uh, the label was pulled off, so we couldn't tell until we looked it up and found it online. Uh, so uh, as you can see, uh, there's a grand piano inside of there and it is come loose from the stopper. So it's sitting on its side. So as you can see, the piano right there. <laughs> And days. yeah, and there's a stopper down there with nothing on it. And then uh, the bass is uh, just keys from the keyboard. Uh, and me, you know, I'm a uh, amateur musician. Uh, I guess it's more of a hobby than anything else. And uh, I tried playing the piano. Uh, I know a little bit about the piano, but uh, it's it's not really my my instrument. Uh, the guitar is my instrument. I've tried mm -hmm. a couple other instruments, but. Even though I don't play the uh, the piano, I still appreciate the the beauty of the instrument. You know, just uh, musical instruments to me just uh, are are very uh, beautiful. You know, and attract like 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 art almost. And so uh, a, a grand piano. This is like the uh, yeah, yeah, basically the, the grandest of all instruments. Yeah. Out there. It says this huge piano, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. So uh, I wanted to fix this one up because I like this one. Uh, now, according to what we found out, it. Uh, not only is it a San Francisco Music Box company, but it also plays Fur Elise. Uh, Fur Elise is the song. We wouldn't have known any no, of No, we would have known because it's missing all of the information down here. But also, it looks like somebody may have tried to fix this. They took all the screws out in the winder and that music box is just bouncing around in there. So we're going to have to see if that's working. Uh, and I'm sure they did that because yeah. it wasn't working, but yeah. we're going to get that fixed. And. Uh, Replace this yellow murky water and get some fresh, uh, he has all yeah. kinds of stuff floating That's around in there. Issues. So yeah, <laughs> it's got some issues. get some fresh water and then hopefully this is going to look really nice when we're done. Yeah. So let's try it. Let's do it. All right. All right. As usual with these type of snow globes, I have the uh, cover in the music box. We're going to heat it up because there is hot glue holding it on. We're going to melt that hot glue and get that cover off. Let's do it. <laughs> trouble so let's see here okay so there's the cover the covers off and there's that man that that glue I don't know how old this globe is yeah. but this this glue is like uh, turned into like a rubber well, this, it was a but vintage however uh, it uh, yeah snow globe. it all came off and there's the music box oh there's mm. the winder oh how did this end up wait a second that's not the original winder though well the thing is how did it end up inside of the globe I don't know. how did the because yeah weird. I don't understand how this entire music box assembly ended up inside with the winder on that's that's a mystery i don't see how oh there we go the winder just fits through that hole there okay so let's see does it work it does work huh there's nothing wrong with it Okay. Okay, well, that's good. I don't know what happened there, but okay. This is strange. Very strange. Okay, so we'll just mount this back on there and, and reinstall it. All right, so now uh, it looks like, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but it looks like the um, the base is actually like porcelain. I was, yeah, I was going to yeah. mention it. It's not uh, resin. It's not wood. It's porcelain. So that's interesting, too. That makes it really I'm nice. Surprised it hasn't um, cracked No. in its travels. Okay, so we have a little bit of glue over the uh, stopper. If you can give me the razor blade yeah. there, I'll go ahead and cut through that glue, and then we'll go ahead and see about pulling that stopper out. Okay. So, we'll just put the razor blade between the globe and the stopper, and just go around. 
And okay, there we go. Okay, we'll put that aside. All right, so now we need uh, the needle nose pliers. All right, so we're gonna pull back. This should be fairly easy because there's no, uh, there's no figurine attached to the stopper. So this should pull right out with no, with no issue. Unless it falls apart. Yes, yeah, so we'll Just see Just because it, when I looked at the inside of it, it looked really like rye rotted from the, um. We're gonna find out. Yeah. It's definitely um, puckered. Okay. And. Okay, there it goes. Uh, yeah, this stopper is still, let's see, if we have another stopper, we'll probably use it, but yeah. this, that is actually, I think, the glue that was holding the, the figurine down that you see cracking, but the stopper itself looks like it might be deteriorating, so we're going to see if we can yeah. find, you know what, I, I think we are going to find a new stopper, because yeah. I can see it's starting yeah, to, that's... yeah, so we're going to look for a new stopper, see if we have one, hopefully, and then... Let's see, let's get that uh, figurine out of there. That pesky figurine. Okay. And there it is, the, the, grand, grand, piano. the grand piano. Aw, And it's in, good sh it's in good shape. Yeah. Looks like it's in excellent condition, hasn't, uh, all right. We're gonna clean that up and uh, get any residue and, and glitter off of it. Find a new stopper mm -hmm. and then uh, pour this water out yeah. and uh, clean the Inside of the globe with a sponge and some soft, uh, some, some, uh, uh mild. Detail. All right, so the globe is clean. The piano is clean now. And we found a new stopper. Much better. This is the same size stopper, both two and a half inch stoppers. Uh, this one's in much better condition. Uh, we got this out of another used snow globe, so we cut the, uh, the figurine off and this is in excellent condition right here. Yeah, this is gonna nice, right. nice and flat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Piano will lay nice and exactly. flat. Exactly. So we're gonna put that on there like that. Now there's there's a there's there's a little kind of a raised area in the center of the uh, of the stopper. So when we glue this uh, piano down, we're not gonna glue all the way to the edges mm -hmm. of the uh, of the figurine because as you can see it's kind of slightly elevated off the stopper here. So we're just gonna glue this part in the middle here to this part right here and it should be fine. Yeah. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. And, and also this has a little channel right here, which is gonna have some air in it. Mm -hmm. So we wanna make sure we get glue all the way around because we don't want that air escaping into the uh, into the globe later Driving on. Driving me buggy with air bubbles. Exactly, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue all the way around this little platform here on the stopper and it should spread out and seal just fine. And I'll put some in the middle here. Okay, there we go. All right, and now we're going to center that right there. Let me make sure that's centered. Give it a little twist to spread that glue a little bit. That's good. Uh-huh, and then there it is, it's centered. Hold it down okay. and all right. All right. There we go. So. We were going to let that sit for about 30 minutes or so, and we'll come back and get this thing put back together. Boop, boop. There we go. All right, the piano is now attached to the stopper. All right. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up. Allie, if you could hold that, please. I think I can. If you could from the other side. I think I can do that as okay. well. Okay. Uh, and we're going to use our uh, pre mixed snow globe water. This is 65% uh, water, 5% alcohol, and 30% clear glue. And we do get questions a lot about the uh, clear glue. We put that clear glue in there to uh, let the uh, to keep the um, glitter and snow from falling so quickly. Yeah, yeah I like they, it they to... fall slower. Yeah, I like uh, that. the glue is optional. You don't have right, to put right. glue in there. You can just use water, and the alcohol is there to uh, kill any algae or bacteria that might grow in the water. Keep it clear. Yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but you don't yeah. need a lot of alcohol to do that. Right. And we have a we have an episode where we uh, do a side by side comparison on all the uh, all the different options that you have to put in your snow globe. You can see that, that there's a link to that video in the description. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, fill this almost all the way, but not all the way. Leave a little space, and looks like right about there. Okay, now. I really did actually try to match up the glitter as best as possible from what I could tell what was left. 
So this glitter is a turquoise glitter? Yeah, it was kind of a greenish glitter that was in there before, but there was also a lot of stuff floating around in it. Yeah. So, um, so this is pretty close, but it's, yeah. uh, it's turquoise. So let's take a look and All right, see. Let's see how that does. Stir that up and let's see. All right, that looks good. I think that looks good. Oh, that's not too much, is it? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of the water and put it on the stopper so it's not so dry and can slip past the glass there. And we are going to drop it straight in. At least we don't have to worry about orientation. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know? It doesn't matter which way the the uh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter which way the um, uh, the the piano points. Right, so I'm same. making a little space here with the screwdriver for the water to come out, and I've got the She's spitting at us, Captain. Mm hmm Okay, so see the stopper went in a little bit too far in this size. I got to pull it back up. There we go. Okay, so let me see. Is it even? I think it's even. Okay. It looks even. All right, so we got in there all nice and even. Okay. And there we go. Look at that. I mean, it already looks better. It already looks better. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let me all get right. this out of your way so you don't get wet. Okay. All right, so we've got an air bubble in there. And there are, oh, uh, you see that? Look, look at all the yes. air. Yes. There's We're a, have to let there, that, yeah. There is a bunch of air inside of the piano. Look at that. Oh, uh, wow. All of, the, I don't know if you can tell in there, there's all that air is leaking out of the piano right there. So. We're gonna have to make sure we're gonna let yeah. let, this, let this sit for a while, yeah, and hold this at different angles to make sure all because this this is one of those figurines that's hiding air in it. But yeah, yeah definitely all yeah. There's a bunch of air bubbles coming out of there. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for a while, move it into different positions, make sure all the air bubbles come out, and then we'll go ahead and get the final air bubble out here in a bit. All right, we let this sit for about 30 minutes or so. All the little bubbles gathered up up here, as you can see. We went ahead, and this is our method, how we do it. Uh, we stuck a little screwdriver in between, very thin screwdriver in between the stopper and the glass. And we're gonna lower the whole thing down into the water. And then once we're underwater, most of the air should just yeah. come right out, but we'll pull this back just a little bit to give it a space. Now let's check. A couple more came out. Yeah, okay, got some more. Got another bubble right there. Get that out of there. And... All gone. No air bubbles. All right. So while this is still underwater, we're going to pull that screwdriver out. And one more check. And yep. All right. Let's get this back together. Let's do it. All right. We got this all dried up in here. And we're going to go ahead and seal it. And hopefully we don't get a big air bubble like it had when we first started working on it. Hmm. So uh, we're just going to put our hot glue all the way around that stopper to seal it up. Allie, could you get another glue stick ready? Okay. Just stick it in there. All right, that looks good. We've got uh, glue all the way around. We've got one bubble popping up in the glue. So we want to go ahead and pop that bubble. There we go. And we'll make sure that where that bubble popped, there's no glue there now, so we're gonna go ahead and put a little extra glue, and we should be good there. Okay, so now, I'm gonna put three drops. Oh, by the way, we went ahead and uh, we reattached the music box to the cover, mm -hmm. and everything's working fine, so we're gonna go ahead and reattach it. Three drops of glue. Mm -hmm. Fancy twirl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, there oh. we go. Okay, go ahead. I did not realize there was a string. Yes. There okay, we go. There we go. All right, we're going to let that glue cool and we're going to take a look at it. And there she is. All finished up. It looks uh, good. She looks good. Um, so uh, we uh, got a new stopper for it. Or we reattached that uh, figurine of the piano to the stopper. Uh, filled it with our snow globe uh, mixture, uh, water, glue, and alcohol, as we explained earlier. And uh, we put some new glitter, which is sort of the color that, of the glitter that was in there before, yeah. pretty close. But uh, man, yeah, she looks really nice with now that she's now that now that the the piano is attached. Yes. 
<laughs> and it has clean water yeah. and that air bubble's gone it looks great yeah it does yeah. so uh let's shake it up and see what we got here shake it up shake it up ooh, ooh. try to shake it up to not not too violently here let's see <laughs> hey look at that oh that looks good look yeah i like it oh I hope I didn't use too much glitter. No, no, I think it's good. Uh, I like it. All right. Um, and now this is the effect with 30% glue. Mm -hmm. And with 30% glue, this particular glitter is falling very slowly. It's kind of yeah. just kind of making its way around the globe. And uh, you might want to use 20% uh, glue if, uh, if you prefer. And, and of course, as we said before, uh, plain water is always an option as well. You don't have to put anything in the water if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, this, but is, this, this is... This this is 30 percent yeah well what i was gonna say too is this is we found that this is kind of the max amount of glue that you could put in and still have the water clear yeah more than 30 percent uh you tend to see it but, yeah so uh let's go ahead and play that music box uh, we went ahead and put a little label down there the tune is for release you enjoyed that video uh, and if you have a, a snow globe that needs to be fixed hopefully you learned something if you're new to the channel uh, check out some of our other videos you'll uh, see some good stuff out there there's some links at the end of this video and don't forget to check the description for links to uh, other things you might be interested in so uh, until next time everyone uh, take care be safe and uh, we hope to see you in the next video thank you so much for your time thank you bye, bye.